guys, it's Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be testing out a few Dollar Tree beauty products. Let's go ahead and get into it. I already put some concealer on, but one of the first things I want to test out is this Wet n Wild brush. It was only a dollar and this is a contour brush and it's really cute. It's like white and it's pink at the tip. That's what she said. So we're going to try that out for my contour. My first impression of it is it's really cute. Like look how pretty that is. It's got like this little green right here to like kind of rest your finger in it's kind of fancy it's angled and it's shaped nice the bristles it doesn't feel it doesn't feel very dense I feel like more dense brushes that seem a little thicker seem to pick up more product but on first glance it is hella cute for my bronzer I'm just using what I always use the Coco contour from Too Faced I can tell it's it's picking product up yeah it seems to be picking stuff up okay so let's just kind of see it's actually, it's putting it down. The brush is pretty thin, um, so it's a little bit of a harsh line, but I mean, that's kind of what you want when you're contouring, and you can always blend it out. I don't mind this brush, actually. They have a lot of Wet n Wild products, so if you want to try Wet n Wild, go to the Dollar Tree. Not mad at the results that I got with that. I mean, it did what it's supposed to do, so for only a dollar, I actually think this is pretty cool. Another Wet n Wild brush. This one is an eyeshadow. It's a crease brush. So it's basically a blending brush. And for eyeshadow, I have had this thing forever and it's one of the LA Colors Little Black Books and it's all it's all dirty because I had it forever and I have not tried it. It has 15 shades in it. It has like a row of greens, a row of purples, and a row of pinks and they're actually really pretty and I think these are really cute. They're all shimmery, which I'm not a huge fan of that. It actually can maybe be a good highlighter. The pigment actually looks kind of decent on these. Doesn't look bad on my finger. And then we will just, eh. So I'm gonna start out with this lightest shade here. Just kind of lay down as a bit of a base. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with this second to lightest shade here. Just kind of be a transition crease shade. I'm not really a fan of it. And I'm not really a fan of this brush. I feel like it's not blending very well. It's kind of just really straight. I don't like that burgundy shade right here. I think I'm going to do like my eyes two different colors because I'm going to try the green and the purple um, and the pinks and I don't know if I can incorporate all of them. Okay this one's showing up a little bit better but it's still kind of a frosty Barbie pink which I mean it's a great color I just don't know if I want it in my crease right now. It, it looks like kids makeup. I actually really hate the color. Yes let's try this purpley color right here. This is like the same fucking color. This wet n wild brush Mm -mm. Okay, that color is even worse. Well, now that it looks like Barbie threw up on my eye, I think this is the darkest color in here. I dislike this color less than the pink one. <sighs> I'm just gonna take the brush that's in here and let's let's just see what we can do. Let's just go with it. Like it it looks pretty shitty, so I'm just gonna go all out with it. Let's take this Barney purple, put that all over the eyelid, all over my nose. I don't know if that's the eyeshadow's fault or the brush's fault, but it just like. We gave tons of kickback like all across my face. I don't like it. Let's try some of the greens. Maybe the greens are better. I'm actually really trying to make this look good and it's just not. Let's do this darker color here. Okay, this looks exactly the same, except it's slightly darker. Let's take this Shrek green. Oh my god. A few years ago would have probably used this and thought that my makeup looked amazing. If you look back at some of my oldest Instagram pictures, from like 2013, like there's a lot of looks like this. No, and no, I have another Wet n Wild product, Silk Finish Lipstick, and it is in the color Hot Red. I use a lip liner first. I look like such a mess right now, I'm so sorry. I look like a clown. Ooh, the packaging is kind of fun. Really, it doesn't smell like anything, but it's a really pretty color. It matches my nails like perfectly. I really wanna like this now, I want it to be good. It's really glossy, like, it almost looks like it's melting on here. It's really pretty though. I think it is a beautiful color. I personally prefer more matte lipsticks. So I just think that this would end up all over my teeth and all over me. So I think it's actually good if this is the kind of finish you like on your lipstick. I'm just gonna throw this in for fun. This is not from the Dollar Tree, uh, quite the opposite. It's Smashbox Insta Matte, but I got it as a little sample thing in a, an Ipsy bag. And I I thought since this is a super like hella glossy lipstick, it would be perfect to try this on. And this is supposed to make any lipstick matte. I like the color. Maybe if this worked, I'll like this lipstick more. Okay, so you just put on your fingertip and just dab this on until it looks matte. <gasps> 
Uh-uh. It looks mad. The top? That is crazy. It doesn't, okay, it doesn't, I wouldn't say it feels matte, but hot damn. Verdict on this. It does not make your lips matte, but it makes them appear matte. So I'm still not like, you know, I like for my lipstick to feel matte and feel like it's not gonna go anywhere. But um, this is pretty cool if you don't care about the feel, you just kind of care about the look. Now let's just recap real quick. This is a yes. This is a yes. This is a yes if you like this texture. This is a no. And this shit right here is a no. That is it for today's video. Um, unfortunately, most of these Dollar Tree products were misses. We got, a, we got a couple hits. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will hopefully see you guys in my next video.